Finding Dory floats onto the big screen this summer and sees the return of Pixar's plucky clownfish Nemo and our favourite funny and forgetful blue tang Dory. In this sequel to Finding Nemo, Dory's memory is triggered by a stingray migration and she sets off on a quest to find her family with the help of Marlin and Nemo. Finding Dory promises to explore a new chapter in Nemo's ocean world, so let's take a look at the new and returning characters we can look forward to meeting in the movie. First up is Destiny, a whale shark, voiced by Caitlin Olsen, star of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Destiny has difficulty swimming straight, due to poor eyesight, and realising there's something familiar about Dory, she befriends the blue tang when she visits the Marine Life Institute. Whale sharks are the largest fish in the sea, and Destiny herself is not only very big-hearted but also speaks whale, which is very handy because at the Marine Life Institute, Destiny is friendly with Bailey, a beluga whale, although they do like to poke fun at each other, with with Bailey calling Destiny a whale rather than a shark, and Destiny making fun of Bailey's huge head. Bailey thinks his biological sonar skills don't work properly, although the Institute's doctors don't seem to think there's anything wrong with him. Bailey is voiced by Modern Family star Ty Burrell. Speaking of Modern Family, Ed O'Neill, Ty Burrell's co-star from the hit comedy series, voices Hank the Octopus, who is strictly just a septopus, as he's only got seven tentacles. Hank is adept at camouflage and escaping from tricky situations, and he's the first to greet Dory at the Marine Life Institute, but he's only willing to help her in return for a ticket on a transport truck to a cosy Cleveland facility where he'll be able to enjoy a peaceful life of solitude. In Finding Dory, Marlin and Nemo come across a pair of snoozing sea lions called Fluke and Rudder just outside the Marine Life Institute. They're voiced by British actors Idris Elba and Dominic West, who work together on the critically acclaimed crime drama series The Wire. Director Andrew Stanton said that he wanted Fluke and Rudder to sound like British gangster-style talking sea lions. When Nemo and Marlin encounter them, they're resting on a sought-after rock and don't enjoy having their nap disturbed, although their bark is far worse than their bite. Dory's mother Jenny is voiced by Annie Hall star Diane Keaton, and her father Charlie is played by American Pie's Eugene Levy. Dory's parents don't suffer from quite the same memory loss as Dory. Jenny is upbeat and a little flighty, but she loves Dory dearly and wants to be a good role model for her. Charlie loves to have fun, although his jokes probably aren't as good as he'd like to think they are. Still, the most important thing to them both is teaching their memory-challenged daughter how to survive. Loons replace the seagulls from Finding Nemo, and in Finding Dory we meet Becky, an offbeat kooky loon who takes a shine to Marlin. And although Nemo is sceptical about her, she's probably cleverer than she looks. The returning cast include Dory, Nemo and Marlin of course. In Finding Dory, Nemo has gone back to school after his big adventure in Finding Nemo, and is the first to offer his help to Dory when she decides to embark on her ocean search for her family. Nemo's father Marlin is more hesitant about jumping in with Dory's mission to head to the California coast, but he understands what it's like to lose family, and Dory of course helped him to find Nemo. The spotted eagle ray teacher Mr Ray will also be back, and this time Dory will be his teacher's assistant during his student field trips around the coral reef and seabed. The cool ocean turtles Crush and his son Squirt return again happy to lend a flipper to a fish in need. And the tank gang who escaped from the dentist's office at the end of Finding Nemo will also be back for the sequel. Expected to return are the Moorish idol fish Gil and Deb the blue and white damselfish who believed her reflection in the fish tank was her sister Flo. And many fellow Pixar fans are hoping we'll also see the French shrimp Jacques from the dentist's office make a comeback too. Sadly, the original voice actor Joe Ranft died between the making of the two films, but his brother Jerome may step into the role. John Ratzenberger is rumoured to cameo again in Finding Dory as the voice of the school of moonfish who appeared in Finding Nemo. And finally, there'll also be sea otters in Finding Dory. Lots of cute, adorable sea otters. So guys, who's your favourite character from Finding Nemo and how excited are you for the sequel? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you love Pixar and animation, you might also like my Pixar Easter Egg videos, 25 fun facts about Zootopia and 27 awesome facts about Kung Fu Panda 3. Click on any of these links here to check out those videos. And if you enjoyed this video, do hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, yippee ki movie lovers!